All right, guys, how are we doing tonight? Tonight we are going to be doing an E-Juice review. Tonight we are going to be reviewing Boosted. Um, from I got this down at 3D Vapors in Alton. Uh, the own, the guy that owns a place there, Dan, gave it to me. So far, um, I'm pretty impressed with this, but from what they say it tastes like... Um, it's pretty much not spot on to my, to what I say. Um, you know, personally, if you say something's going to taste like something, you know, it should. And in my opinion, coming from somebody that vapes the juice that it's supposed to taste like, because it's supposed to ta taste like cut wood, um, I don't think it does. And, you know, people can say what they want to say, but it's like I said, it's my personal opinion. And I vape cut wood on a constant basis. And I mean, there are distinct differences in between it um description wise i mean it's kind of the same it's kind of in that same area but i mean they do not they have two distinct different flavors to them um but beyond that um this is a 30 milliliter glass bottle as you can see here it does have the childproof drippers on it um you can get them in a 120 milliliter bottle size. Um, I don't know if you can from 3D Vapors exactly. Um, they are a distributor of them, of uh, Boosted, BOV, and Anti Lag. Um, and I think there's one other juice in the juice line. Um, not for sure what it is off the top of my head. Uh, I'll look it up and throw it down in the comment section down below. Um, it is a 60 40 mix. It's 60 VG, 40 PG from what I can find and what I've been told. Um, the description on it, on it is it's supposed to taste like a strawberry milkshake, and it's pretty much pretty much spot on there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a vape on it. I've got it set up on the um, e leaf ice stick right now um, with the plume bill. It is a point one point three ohm build at twenty watts. I also have it set up here in the expired Atlantis, um, which is a point five ohm and they're the only two devices I'm going to be running across tonight. Uh, I'm down a device at the moment, so until I can get a third one, I'm going to have to run these on a two-setup way. Um, but that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get to the vaping, and I'll kind of tell you what I think of it. Yeah, I mean, you can, you get a real good hint of the strawberry, a little bit of the, of a milk, milk shape type, um, but, I mean, it, it's like I said, it's there, but it's not like completely there. And I mean, for it being a 60-40 mix, from like what I said that I've seen, it does produce, and it does produce fairly well. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the next device here, and then we're going to come out and we'll rate it. Yeah, I mean, you're still getting that strawberry. You're st you're still getting that that milk shape taste on the end of things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll switch it uh, switch this off. I actually do um, switch it into this tank as well. So I'm popping on an Nautilus Mini. A little bit higher wattage. Yeah, I think I might have just ruined a coil there, <laughs> but yeah, I ruined a coil there. <laughs> Leave it to me to ruin a coil. But anyways, uh, cannot believe I just done that. 
overall, I am going to rate it a 7 out of a 10. Uh, really, really good tasting. Uh, but it, in my opinion, tastes nothing like unicorn milk. Um, but hey, that's in my opinion. Other than that, guys, have a good night. Vape safe.